welcome. Pleasure to have you join us again for another review of the headlines in the newspapers. My name is Felicity Ezewike, and I have two guests with me. I'll start with Dr. Emerie Agonwa, political analyst. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. And we also have uh, CPS uh, um, Oshun State uh, Governor, uh, Ishmael Omi. Thank you very much. The pleasure is mine. All right, we'll start with the Punch newspaper this morning. Confusion as Kano High Court upturns Oshimole's suspension. That's APC ESCO crisis on your screen. It has two riders. Uh, embattled party chair blames Minister Albasaki, other govs. Uh, plaintiffs dismiss Kano order, says ex Edo gov remained suspended. Core members, Copachon, that's what we call them around here. <laughs> um, on the front page, uh, you have uh, 49 couples to repeat service in Ekichi, Kaduna, Eboni. Others, you find details of uh, what could have led to that on page 14 of the paper. And just beneath it, Unilag suspends convocation over management tussle. Uh, poly workers, students, protest, equity collapsed, breach. PDP to sack national secretariat workers. Three soldiers, eight policemen killed in Damboa, Dapchi attacks. Twelve ladies rescued from three arrested in Ogu Baby Factory. Again, headsmen invade Benue community, rape monarch's wife, others. Flip to the top of the paper now. There you go. Senator. Okay's Buhari's $22.7 billion loan request amid protest. And just about that, you're looking at 55 Nigerian oil cargoes unsold as demand tumbles. An update on coronavirus. Quarantined Italian suffers depression. Lagos isolates France returnee. Others, I mean, put in, staying in one room for days can be depressing uh, in itself. I just hope he gets out, snaps out of it uh, soon enough. On the back page um, of the punch, we have the Kaduna killing beyond El Rafai's apology. Let me come to my guest in the studio. I'll start with you, uh, Doctor. Which of this headline would you want to pick on first? I suspect the APC. Yes, but that's not of a floor gate. Okay. Um, I would like to talk on the quarantine issue. All right. Yes, I think um, this is not the first time we're having issues like this. Um, Nigeria, have, we've come of age to have proper centers for quarantine for cases like this. Um, it's depressing to hear that somebody in quarantine is depressed. Uh, okay. Why? Yes, because we, it, it's a place you need to, I think it's, there's nothing they can, you, we need to make it comfortable, okay? We need to look at templates, international standard quarantine centers, what it looks like. And we have the funds, you need to, look, you need to um, find out how nothing, much. But nothing can take away human contact. You Absolutely. might have everything there and there is no human, we, we take it for granted because you, we have Have you it. visited this Yaba center? No, I'm just saying just that even driving, if they have all the equipment. Just driving past, you feel depressed. Okay. Yes, I wouldn't even like to see anybody there. Oh, it's okay. depressing. Now, I think that Nigeria can do better. It's depressing. And it doesn't make good press for Nigeria internationally. It does not, it's not good press at all. This is, I mean, other countries quarantine people, nobody comes out and say they're depressed in it. <laughs> well, what's your take on it? And we well, uh, it? well I, I wouldn't know the details of the story because when you say you are depressed, it may be, um, uh, it may be because you probably are not seeing your friends, uh, relations, you know, around. And don't forget, um, the man may not be used to, you know, a kind of uh, uh, situation here. But I want to say that if uh, media report is anything to go by, uh, as of two, three days ago, uh, I think I saw a story where it was reported that um, the center, you know, had been upgraded. You know, a story was run to the fact that uh, the place was not uh, uh, okay, you know. And I think about two or three days later, the Lagos. There was an updated, moving, yeah, um, we saw the story. And, uh, um, and the first time, I think they said the man complained of heat, you know, and what have you. You know, sometimes as human beings, even when we have the best of uh, situation, because probably we don't like it, we always want to make excuses to escape, you know, whatever it is that uh, we are going through. Okay, let, let's take a look at these uh, coppers that are to repeat service. Does that worry you? That... No, absolutely, it does not worry me at all. Okay. With you as a copper, there are guidelines. 
things that if you do, if you don't do, you will repeat. If you skip CDS, you can sign a test of repeat. A lot of things you can do. Nobody, I mean, from how many thousand coppers, over 100,000 coppers, and only 49 coppers to repeat, I think that's a fair number. Okay. Yes. Um, you're, you're, are we going to ignore this screamer in front of us? No. No, no, no. No, see, no the, the thing is, um, it's normal when to have that kind of a headline. Uh, the confusion, the, you know, they are screaming there. It's as a result of uh, the rulings from two uh, courts. And uh, I'm sure the appellate court will help us resolve uh, whatever confusion that uh, there is as far as uh, the matter is concerned. Okay, um, let's see if we'll take, uh, except you want to speak on something else, we'll go to the next paper, and that's the Nation newspaper. Uh, the front uh, here, well, they are after me because of 2023, says Oshomole. There's a picture of him there, as you can see, with the president. I wonder what he's saying to him and that's making him uh, laugh so hard. <laughs> All right. Um, we also have a rider to that story. Federal High Court maintained a status, a status quo. Uh, party chair goes to appeal court. Fire me. Uh, Buhari meet at the villa. Uh, those are some of the riders. And on the right side of the paper, uh, you're looking at, maybe not too clearly, um, INEC targets e-voting from nest holes, southeast, south, south, to get security outfits. Um, a motorcycle uh, is leading the way with um, regional security on that one. You might want to go read up details. COVID-19 threatens Lagos Ibada rail completion deadline. Nigeria in I Nigerian in isolation on return from France. Uh, a couple of inside stories, details for you. Uh, Angola bars Nigerian travelers. We finally got there. IMF gives $50 billion to battle virus. Uh, we know it's for uh, smaller, poor countries. At the top of the paper, we have Boko Haram kills six policemen in Dutch attack. Uh, jobs, oil places, PTA teachers on priority list. 7,000 to be hired. Uh, government goes tough with ASU over payroll. Uh, no enrollment, no pay. Uh, on the back of it, remembering a consistent Federalist. There's a picture of uh, the late Chief Awolowo. Maybe that's something uh, to do with him. Hadball is looking at Sanusi probe without end. Gentlemen, let me come to you. What, um, what of this headline are you taking on? Well, uh, let me take on uh, the Bukwa Ram attack. Uh, I want to say that um, so far, Perhaps there are certain things we are not doing correctly as far as the fight against uh, uh, insurgency is concerned. But let me also place on record as uh, someone who is uh, very f vast in the coverage of the North, uh, I want to say with all sense of modesty that um, what we have today as far as the Boko Haram challenge is concerned, it's uh, far more better than what we had before uh, 2015. How do I mean? I recall uh, I was a correspondent in Meduguri for several years, and even after I left in 2005, I was still visiting up till uh, last year. I recall very well that um, before 2015, Boko Haram attacks had taken place in virtually all the states of the north, apart from Kwara State. To the extent that in, Ab in Abuja, the FCT, the Florida capital, and Kaduna, on Sundays and Fridays, most uh, uh, Muslim faithful and Christian faithful hardly want to go to uh, for services because of fear, you know, of being attacked. And I also recall vividly that uh, there was a particular time in 2014. I spent three days in Yobe State. Yobe. Uh, uh, you, if you are going by road, then I think the airport was shut. You must pass through Yobe to get to Meduguri. And um, between Meduguri and uh, Yobe State, uh, there's a town called Beneshek. For three days, nonstop, Boko Haram were operating on that road and we couldn't uh, move. You, you know, you know, move. I also recall that during those periods, once it is 6 p.m. in Meduguri, you hardly find people around. But by 2018, 19, when I went, I stayed out up till about 11 p.m. or thereabout. 
Wow, well, yeah, that's your that's your unique perspective because life, some persons life, might life, tell you the spate of attacks the, makes. The, the truth is this: most people who speak about their attacks in Medubri, most of them probably have never been to Medubri. This Dapchi uh, situation. I mean, Dapchi, should yeah, Dapchi yeah. be in the news considering uh, well, the history it, of situations the, there? The, the problem we have is each time we make gains, as far as uh, the fight against the insurgency is concerned, we tend to relax. And once we relax, these guys will come, e back, will again. come back. So what I would suggest and advise very strongly is for our security you know, uh, agents to be on top of their game and ensure that uh, this thing no longer relapses. I believe very strongly that uh, it's a fight that uh, we are capable of winning. And we capable, winning. but yet yeah. to win. Uh, well, which of these would you want to t take on? Yes, clearly I would, I would have wanted to look at the 2023 that okay. uh, Shomole is talking about. But let me just say something on that. I think this is a shame on the Nigerian police. Yes, and our security systems are being shambles. This is not right. The conversations of six policemen killed, and I'm asking, how many, uh, do you think we have enough policemen for 200 million Nigerians? Are they properly trained? Can they handle this? And every day we come out with this kind of news. I'm not saying the way forward. This is not right. But let's get, let me get back to the 2023. Clearly, uh, Shomola says they're after him for 2023. Sure, I believe him. You know, I like factions. I like the way systems run. Some persons want somebody else for 2023, the same way somebody else wants him to go out for 2023. And I'm just saying, 2023 is three years, like we are just three, we have like almost four years to 2023. Can we just chill and get this government, this, this country running for a while? By 2022, we can start talking about 2023, but this is too early to put 2023 in focus. All right, let's go to this day newspaper. Uh, Oshamale is practically on all the headlines. There is no uh, paper that's not talking about the Oshamale situation. Um, this day is running with Oshamale fights back, gets canon court to put suspension on hold. And a couple of writers meets Buhari. He remains suspended, says APC Vice Chairman Northeast. Uh, conflicting court orders bizarre, says Ban, sans rather. Uh, when sans are saying uh, the court order uh, is bizarre, what, what do we ordinary men say? Um, <laughs> what's your take? No, they, they, they're stating the obvious. Uh, because like I said at the beginning, I said clearly that the court that granted the first injunction ordinarily should not have entertained the matter because it lacked jurisdiction to entertain the matter. However, it is not for the national vice chairman of the party to, 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 to make pronouncement on matters that are already before the court. Because when, the, when you are saying that the national has stands suspended, are you are getting the powers of the, the court to yourself? You have no such right. You have gone to court, you got your own injunction, and the national chairman has gone to court to get his own injunction. So it is not for you to say, that uh, except, of course, you are constituting yourself into, you know, uh, another court. But like I said earlier, this thing will be put behind us very soon. South South Govs agree on regional security outfits, conclude plans to revitalize the braced commission. And then I love the caption to that picture, resource controllers. <laughs> and those are governors of um, uh, Delta, um, we have um, Aquaibum, uh, we have a Do, and then I think that's yes, Rivers. That's rivers. Okay. Yes, uh, then all by, of them. And the new entrant, Baesa Diri. Yeah. Okay. Um, at the top of the paper, we have South Africa records first case of coronavirus. Three new suspected cases isolated in Lagos. Italian patients to be released next week. Report says a tourism hit by outbreak. Expected a little bit of. Um, Oil matters. OPEC backs 1.5 MVPD. Oil output court awaits uh, Russian support. All right. Um, at the back page of the paper, we have um, it's time to review electricity tariffs. That's uh, Shaka Mamodu speaking. 
that's another controversial issue. Gentlemen, let me come to you, Doctor. Uh, which of these would you want to uh, take on? Uh, we've talked already on this. So, regional security outfits. Yes. Um, I've never been a fan of regional security outfits from the one. But I've always believed in state policing, which is far more efficient than regional policing. And the um, reason is that uh, we have executives who can execute. I, I know something about having one driver in a car, but having two drivers in a car is something I've not been able to understand. There's going to be conflict in this matter in the next few years. So the moment we get this other thing, somebody's going to hijack it and it will not end well. All right, let's uh, wrap things up with the Vanguard newspaper. I'm told we have uh, three minutes. Um, APC crisis latest, Shomale rebounds as county court sets aside suspension. That's on the front page of the Vanguard newspaper. There are a couple of writers for you there to take a look. Uh, gunmen on rampage, kill hotel manager, abduct eight in Delta, kill two in Zamfara. COVID-19 forced me to adjust 83rd birthday celebration. That's a former president of Bassinger speaking. Uh, three cases of coronavirus isolated in Lagos. That's the state government. Uh, we also have, uh, you have case to answer. Can anti-corruption commission tells Sanusi. And Naira Watch on the front page talks about Naira depreciating to 366 uh, Naira, uh, 57 Kaba to a dollar in INE window. Mr. and Mrs. Katoon is also on your front page. You know how we love it. And the back page is sports. But let's just uh, take concluding thoughts because we don't have uh, much time on the show. Um, Senate OK's uh, FG's $22.7 billion loan plan as Lawana Baribe Spa. Ibo still marginalized in Nigeria. Go on. Let me come to you, um, Ishmael. Well, um, the... Virtually every section of the country will tell you that they have been marginalized. Uh, but let me add quickly that um, the regional security outreach that we are talking about does not necessarily mean that um, it has to be for It's the states that will come together to make up you know, the, uh, the regional security outreach. And this has become necessary because I've always advocated that, look, it is very easy to ask an Ismail who is from Mosho, who probably may have also lived in Ila, local government, to police the area. And I will do the job better than an Amisu that will be posted from Kano, who probably does not understand the language, does not understand the terrain. And I want to also add that whatever success that may have been recorded in the fight against Boko Haram, especially in Meduguri, was made possible because of what people now call, whether state or regional, JTF. the civilian JTF. So to that extent, I want to appeal to Nigerians to support this idea of you know, policing, policing. You know, policing uh, regions. Yeah, but that, that isn't that, that going to conflict with the state police that the federal government is coming up with as well? Uh, no, it, it will not. Uh, the, the, the thing is, we understand. Com sorry, community policing. You see, whether, when you say community policing, you, you know, the, the problem with us is that we run away from First realities. Of you know, we run away from realities. The truth is, whether you call it community policing, uh, decentralized policing, what have you. The point clearly is that the unitary kind of policing system we are running in this country is not working. Okay. So the earlier we decentralize it, the better. For us. I'm afraid that's where we're going to wrap things up this morning. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming on All the right. program. Thank the you very much. Man. All right, and thank you for staying with us. I hope some of these headlines caught your attention. You could go uh, to your vendor, buy some papers, read the details, and be informed. Thank you for your time. My name is Felicity Ezewike. Do enjoy the rest of your day.